Rich guy, poor guy. What do they think? What do they feel? What do they do? What do they spend? What do they have? What do they own? Whatever it is, they are totally opposite. Almost. Maybe some poor people you might say, that guy is so talented at singing. He could be a star. But let me tell you something. If he's already struggling every single day to finish that day with a food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what will he do? Will he still sing and in a competition that will take like three months? He doesn't even have money to have a place to sleep at night. He might have in his hometown, but not at a competition. And what if he gets kicked out the first round? His money is just burned. And there's a lot of other things that they are limited of. Where they are very scared to spend their money because every cent costs a lot to them. And rich people, if they want to sing, they could just go enter a competition. Even if they are kicked out from the first round, they won't be so sad because they still have money. They still have a luxury. And they can go to like um, different countries and hang out. Hey, what you doing today? I am doing great today. Oh, that don't make sense. But anyways, you know that their life is already different based on what they're thinking and what they're using and what they are, um, what they are, whatever is opposite. Alright, so you think the life for the rich uh, versus the life for the poor, is it, is it a fair thing? Do you think the it's very fair. It's fair. very fair. Fair? It's very fair. Why is it fair? It's not fair. You may say that. But let me reject you. Huh? You want to reject me? Yes, I want to reject you. Why do I want to reject you? Because the fact is, what did the rich do before they were rich? They worked hard to be rich. What did the poor before they were poor? They were poor. Because poor just stay poor and rich just get richer. Because if you were start as a normal person walking on the street, so normal, ordinary guy, um, and you one day become the richest guy or maybe a rich guy with a lot of money, you can spend on luxuries. Let me tell you something. You seriously cannot do that if you're poor. Because if you just walk around, you feel stressed and you just don't know what to do. But if you're a random guy and you become rich like what I said just now, then I really respect you because you work hard for it. Even if you don't take care of the poor. Because you earn it. You earn it. You look at the TV, the kids crying. What happened? We don't have food. We're eating orange skin. Um, okay. Um, yeah, that is pretty pitiful. But why don't you, kid, go get a part-time job to earn some money for yourself? Um, yeah, because technically, everybody that want to be rich have to work for it. Even if you're poor. It's very fair for rich people to enjoy their life and the poor to not what is the main difference between the rich guy and the poor guy mindset um the poor guy will just think about <clears throat> i need money i need money for breakfast i need money for lunch i need money for dinner and the rich just think about ah, i wish i had more time i'll watch this movie hmm, maybe i should work on this program and this guy, this this guy. Maybe I should work with him. Get some new projects and get some more money into my bank account. Maybe they think that way. And they need time. Um, the poor need money. That's already a big mindset difference. If you're poor, rare, until you can't think of time is important, then I'll tell you that time is really important because based on how you can spend your time, you can actually increase your money. If you sleep earlier, 
and you wake up earlier, um, you can have a whole more morning time to spend on doing it. But you might ask that it doesn't change the fact that I'm poor. You can go try other stuff, except you don't need to sweep the floor every day. Maybe you could try going to the car, the, going to the car um, shop and then asking them for a job like part-time job please can you give me a chance of sell this car for you and you get like 30 percent um interest that's a little bit too much but 50 percent maybe and you can get a little bit more money than before and you can do other stuff start other stuff pick up a group maybe buy a house try to buy a house save your money buy a house and rent it out for people and then you can get some extra money there's a lot of way to do it too but for rich guy they just already done all of them they have put they have rent out houses they have invest into stocks they have done every single thing that can increase their money to the most peak and they are trying new things continuously some people say that the, the poor is actually a slave for the rich guy. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. Because you are the one who decided to be a slave of the rich guy. No, but maybe you don't want to be a slave. Why would you say that? You just try other stuff. Just try other stuff, dude. He, the person you're working for right now probably have a very, very, very hard path. Uh, he probably already been through a very, very hard time before. Unless he's born rich, I don't respect people that are born rich because they just born rich and they are most probably gonna grow up pampered because they have too much money. Um. Yeah. So I I really think that you should just do your own stuff if you don't want to be a slave. Then let's go sweep the floor. Then you're not a slave. Just sweep the floor at the road, so you're not a slave. And try other stuff like working for a company or trying to get to get some donation to go to a university or something. I don't know. Just uh, prove yourself. For somebody is already a staff for the boss, right? Like a like a slave for the yeah, boss. Yeah, at least you're not a slave. Like pa pa, you by punching back. As long as it's not that bad, I mean. Come on, 80% of the people in this world are workers. If you have so many boss, then what's a worker for? If you have so many business, how do you even compete in this world? It's just no way. So, yeah, being a worker is not a big deal and stuff. Just try your best. If you want to be rich, then be rich. So, this is the difference between rich and poor. If you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and thank you for watching see you very soon bye bye